February is Heart Health Month. That means all of us should take care of our hearts and help someone who suddenly may be in cardiac arrest. We can do that by learning CPR, but there may be a problem if the victim is a woman. Chelsea and Barb are here from uh, Cleaver Compliance to explain. So uh, this is a complicated situation that uh, you've uh, seen men run into. Can you just explain uh, what happens? Uh, someone, a woman goes into cardiac arrest, but men are reserved about performing CPR? Yes, they are. Um, the reason that Chelsea and I are here today from Clevenger Compliance Training is because of the fact that we found out that men are 27% less likely to have CPR perform on a woman because of the fact that they're concerned about the fact that women have breasts and also they're concerned about sexual harassment. So when Chelsea and I found this out, we were like, wait a second, we have to do something to make men feel more comfortable. For years, I've been teaching CPR, and we have been using these male mannequins. Well, my daughter is a senior at the University of Cincinnati, and she majors in fashion. So she created for us this, um, I guess it would be like a cloth that goes over and looks like a woman. So we just wanted people to understand and feel comfortable that they can always perform CPR on a female and not have to worry about the fact that, yes, they have breasts. It's really about saving their life. So, yeah, that's essentially the point. We want to save lives, so not to worry about that. Now, uh, when it comes to performing CPR on a woman, um, is it different than a man? Uh, I'm sure same spot, but sure. should, should there be a level of caution uh, because of the breast? There really shouldn't be a level of caution. I mean, yes, the breasts are there. You still place your hands in the exact same place. You're gonna find um, the notch, which is right above where the ribs meet the breastbone. One hand goes above that, the other one goes over top, and you intertwine the fingers. So yes, I know that the breasts are there, but what I usually say to people is, it's your mother, your grandmother, your daughter, your spouse that needs CPR performed on them. So that's how I want you to look at it and not have to worry about the fact that you're worried about, oh my gosh, I'm touching the breast. Yeah. Because yes, we know we have them and they're there, but this person is not breathing and needs CPR. Let's save a life. Yeah. Let's yes. worry about yes. that. Now, Chelsea, you said that uh, you all will have like an open enrollment uh, just to help with uh, training for CPR. Can you talk to we us are. about that a bit? We're excited to have an open enrollment on March 16th at the Way Library in Perrysburg. Um, it's an open to the public. Uh, it's $80, so you're welcome to come. It's going to be from 9 to 1, and we're going to do CPR first aid, and we're going to gear it towards adult, child, and infant. So come on out to the library. You can call our offices, and I'll get you all registered. Um, but it's just, we're going to bring Woo Mannequin. We're going to have everything you know, there for you to perform CPR and save a life. Nice. Well, thanks so much, ladies. Really appreciate that. Uh, anything else you would like to share about the event coming up or just about the importance of learning CPR? Yeah, I mean, as everybody knows, CPR saves lives. We also brought a defibrillator here, which is another tool. It goes hand in hand with CPR. You do CPR, you hook the defibrillator up. Hopefully it gives a shock to someone's heart that needs it. And the goal is to have this person breathing before EMS ever walks in your door. So. That's a great goal to have. Well, ladies, thanks so much. I really appreciate your time this morning. Well, up next on WTOL. Uh, or